36 minutes after the hour, and congrats to our friend and meteorologist Maria Molina, who married Reed Timmer the day after Christmas at the site of an active volcano in Nicaragua. Of and course. she's here sharing more of her photos from her honeymoon. Wow, this is just bucket list stuff, you say, right? Yeah, this were items on our bucket list. And some people may not know, but I was born in Nicaragua, so right. we have a lot of family back there. There were more than 100 family members. Right. So it was just appropriate to take the ceremony over to sure. them. And Masaya Volcano was my favorite park. That was like my Disney World growing up. So anytime we visited Nicaragua and our family out there, I would always Always make sure we stop there. Sure. And Reed visited a year ago, so sure enough. Oh my goodness! Look at the, look at that picture. You know, we should point out you are a meteorologist, and Reed Timmer, your husband, is a weather chaser, a storm chaser, and so you went to all these weather extreme places. Yeah, for our honeymoon, we decided, you know, we talked about, hmm, it has to be somewhere extreme since <laughs> our hobbies are a little extreme, <laughs> not the normal uh, people vacations, but we decided to visit yeah. Iguazu Falls, which is uh, part of it's in Argentina, the other part of it is in Brazil, and we have some images from there. We took a boat ride right up to the falls they allow this to happen and uh, we were ch chanting uno mas uno mas which is one more time and of course the boat driver gets fired up and went right up to the falls and made us soak so it was really so fun. Is it, what is that right here so before that picture that was a boat ride with a driver that took us okay. right up to the falls. Now, when, when you were on your honeymoon you were actually tweeting things out tweeting yeah. out images and they were so extraordinary that's why we decided that we had yeah. to share some of these very personal moments yeah very personal moments and another location that we ended up visiting was the Cape glacier Horn. yeah the glacier we visited the glacier Perito Moreno glacier I always saw images of this place and we visited you can see right there that's glacier trekking so we had crampons on our feet so there are spikes that allow you to walk on the ice we had an expert of course you don't want to do this without an expert and we were able to hike around the ice depth is more than 500 feet just blows you away when you see it and we even drank some glacier water right off the glacier oh, how did you getting? get there amazing <laughs> glacier water. we flew down and then we uh, to get to the glacier we you're able to drive up close to it and then you have to hike an hour out and then three and a half hours on this ice. We ate lunch mm -hmm. there, and then we had to hike back and all the travel With back. all that ice there, were there any penguins? <laughs> Not on the ice, but we did have penguins. We went farther south. We were able to set foot on Cape Horn, which is a big accomplishment uh, for us, <laughs> weather enthusiasts. And also, we saw some penguins on another island, Magdalena Island. All these penguins return to this island every year to mate. So they always find their partner who they mate with every year. But we learned that they're not fully monogamous. They actually, Ooh, uh, listen. this is their sound. More, so that's their so mating more call? Ashley that Madison and less Christian Mingle. <laughs> no, so they, they do, hypothetically, it is monogamous. But the exception is, <laughs> the exception becomes when the male is supposed to set up the nest and then the female returns to look for the nest. But if the nest is not up to par, she leaves. Wow. For another so women are very for gentle. <laughs> Plus, all penguins look alike, don't they? I mean, it's <laughs> they they all have unique mating calls that they recognize, mm -hmm. so that's how they're able to find each other. More and, than 70,000 pairs on that island. And you mentioned the legendary Cape Horn. Yes. You actually went there. Extreme weather. They told us that uh, between the late 1880s and early 1900s, there were more than 800 shipwrecks. Yeah. More than 10,000 people lost their lives, so they were trying to sail around before the Panama Canal, of course. So a lot of history in this place, and you can't really just disembark off your cruise ship here. There aren't any ports. They try to keep everything very pristine very untouched so we had to get off the cruise ship which was anchored out in the ocean get on zodiac boats and then head over to the wow. island and they help us disembark from there is there any weather phenomenon you missed I mean you were married in the volcano you were on a, a glacier you were there with the penguins no. did we you see the Sun we saw snow we saw Sun there were moments that were in the 60s moments that were very cold with snow coming out and we even got some hail while we were on Cape Horn so all weather covered well, congratulations. Nice to be able to share that with the love of it's your life. It's great to have you back. Yeah, thank you. Good to be back and good to see you guys. Triple Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy same New to you. Year. <laughs>